would you like to be flying one of these planes? Exciting. Dangerous. Looks that way, doesn't it? Well, actually, most flying has become routine by now. And the men who fly are skilled professionals who reduce the normal hazards to standardized procedures. In maneuvers like these, the man and the machine are one. In the air, the pilot feels his job is relatively safe. Everything is under control. But when he gets back to Earth, conditions change. There are now new elements of danger. This is Lieutenant White, a Navy test pilot and also an engineer. Lieutenant White is a realist. In his job, he has to be. He has a healthy respect for accidents the unforeseen, the uncontrollable. But he has an even greater respect for safety precautions, both in the air and on the ground. Nearly everyone is familiar with the safety belts used in all types of aircraft. Their effectiveness has been proven by years of testing and actual use, not just in the air, but also on the ground, where we drive or ride in that most lethal of wheeled wonders, the automobile. This, then, is a film about safety through seat belts. Lieutenant White plans to protect the lives of his family on the road. He does not expect to get into a serious accident, for he is a careful driver. But he is also a man influenced by facts. And the brutal facts about auto mortality are now painfully clear. Despite the improvements in both roads and cars, incorporating many performance and safety features, the auto accident toll in human life continues to mount until it has now reached over one and one half million injuries each year. And contrary to popular belief, death-dealing collisions are not all high-speed accidents. 73% of them occur at moderate speeds within a 30-mile radius of the victim's home. A young mother and two children died in this one. They were on their way to nursery school when their car was rammed at an intersection. The mother and her three-year-old son were crushed in the impact. The five-year-old died in the arms of the rescue squad. A doctor on his way to surgery was fatally injured here. He suffered compound fractures of the skull. He was dead by the time he reached the hospital. This senseless waste of human life, such deadly violence ensuing from what appeared to be minor collisions, led research groups such as the Institute of Transportation and Traffic Engineering of the University of California to conduct a series of auto crash tests. This is a unique kind of research in that an experimental collision is by nature a one-shot operation requiring a great deal of preparation, only a few seconds duration and many months of detailed analysis to evaluate the findings. The experimental vehicles and their passengers have to be expendable. Collisions are inherently dangerous and human subjects are not easily located. Even if they were, however, there are definite advantages to using a well-engineered mechanical substitute. Anthropometric dummies are the answer, for they simulate the behavior of their human counterparts under the forces of collision. These stock cars are elaborately instrumented to collect all the data necessary for later evaluation of just what happened in their brief moments of importance before being consigned to the scrap heap. In addition to the electronic recording apparatus, cameras also record the event for study automatically controlled to begin functioning just 10 seconds before impact, these motion picture and still cameras record the event from all significant angles. The entire event must be under precise control at all times. An aluminum monorail guides both crash cars to a predetermined point of impact. Each crash car will be paced by a manned vehicle carrying the recording oscillographs and other control equipment. The final two days are the most critical. 
everything is checked and rechecked. They cannot afford any malfunctions when they have only one shot. And even so, things do go wrong. Then it is still another ordeal of checking and testing every device, every connection, until all human error has been eliminated. The countdown finally begins. All the preparation is finally concluded with a simple command. All clear. Commence runs. 